Are you ready for eighth grade math? Let's find out. Here are the topics you should know from seventh grade math before starting eighth grade. Ratios and proportional relationships, the number system, expressions and equations, geometry, and statistics and probability. Now let's go over these in more depth. So if you remember, the textbook didn't have chapters, it had modules. And in module one, we learned adding and subtracting integers. We added integers with the same sign and with different signs, and we subtracted integers. In module two, we did multiplying and dividing integers, and we applied integer operations. In module three, we learned about rational numbers. We covered rational numbers and decimals, adding rational numbers, and subtracting them, multiplying and dividing them. And we learned identifying and applying properties to numerical expressions, applying rational number operations. In Module 4, we learned about rates and proportionality. We covered unit rates, constant rates of change, and proportional relationships and graphs. In Module 5, we covered proportions and percent, percent increase and decrease, rewrite percent expressions and applications of percent. In Module 6, we did expressions and equations. We did algebraic expressions and applying properties to them, and one-step equations with rational coefficients, and writing two-step equations and solving them. In Module 7, we covered inequalities, writing and solving one-step inequalities, and then writing and solving two-step inequalities. In Module 8, we learned about modeling geometric figures. We covered similar shapes and scale drawings, scale drawings in area, geometric drawings, cross-sections, and angle relationships. In Module 9, we covered circumference, area, and volume. We did circumference and area of circles, area of composite figures, and solve surface area problems and solve volume problems. We found the volume of a triangular prism, trapezoidal or rectangular prism. Now we were at Unit 5 and Module 10, we learned about random samples and populations and applying proportional reasoning, making inferences from a random sample. In Module 11, we learned about analyzing and comparing data, comparing data displayed in dot plots or box plots, using statistical measures to compare populations, find the mean, median, and mode of data, and understand mean absolute deviation, the MAD, M-A-D, just the basics of it. In Module 12, we learned about experimental probability and the experimental probability of simple events, compound events, and making predictions with experimental probability. In the last module, module 13, we learned about theoretical probability and simulations. We learned about theoretical probability of simple events and compound events, and making predictions with theoretical probability and using a scientific calculator to conduct a simulation by generating random numbers. We can easily review the entire grade level by binge watching the playlist without the textbook. Start watching a video, and if you definitely remember how to do the problems, then skip to the next video. And if you don't remember, then watch the entire video. That way, you'll be able to review and make sure that you're ready for eighth grade math. It's very important to understand these lessons before moving on to eighth grade, because in eighth grade, we're going to build upon these lessons with more difficult lessons. And if you don't understand these, you're really going to become confused. If you do understand these and you feel confident, well, welcome to eighth grade math. I hope you do well. In our first lesson, we're going to talk about rational and irrational numbers. Hope to see you there. Bye.